probably do a lot of damage with this <laughs> hey everyone Sophia here my great challenge welcome back to my channel I've had requests to do another Timu haul and review but in categories so the last time I did household and kitchen today I'm doing all gardening tools and equipment so what I'm going to do is open all my boxes show you what I received from Timu for the purpose of this review and then all week I'm going to go in my garden and we're going to try all of those things including this very intriguing um, weed puller and cutter I guess this is well made So I think you're all familiar with who Timu is. It's a um, overseas company that provides a wide variety of products, um, stuff that you would find in the other big online stores, but you are pretty much cutting out the middleman. You're going straight to the manufacturer. So what it means for you, it's big savings. They ship from overseas. The shipping takes between 9 and 11 days and trust me when I tell you they are the same products that you see on the other websites but for the other websites you would pay for the privilege of having the item delivered to your house the following day. If you don't mind waiting go straight to the source and go through Timu. They are very affordable and they cover everything. You can get auto parts, you can get um, gardening stuff, you can get clothing, jewelry. They are great for kitchen tools and kitchen utensils, home decor, lighting, uh, textile, you name it, they have it all. I really like Timu. I order a lot of stuff from them. Um, personally, it saves me money and it gives me a lot of variety and choice. I'm not stuck in just a little selection. They have so much in particular in gardening. So this is what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to do gardening. I'm gonna show you everything I got. And again, I'm gonna test it out and tell you whether or not it's a yay or a nay from me. If you're interested in more Timu items, I got a link down below. Yes, it's an affiliate link, but you also get discounts and coupon codes. If you download their app, they have games where you can refer people, earn money, or you can just play games for more coupons. They always have free items if you share your Timu with other people. It's a really, really fun way to discover new products, get your family on board with getting new products, and they accept all forms of payment, including PayPal. They have a refund policy uh, where they will entirely refund the item. And they also give you credits if you don't receive the item within a specific time frame. So they're great for credit. And so far, I've had no issue with Timu. I've been using them for over a year and no issue. Stuff arrives between nine and 11 days and it usually arrives all in one shipment. So I don't have to wait for parts of it. And all the items have been really good. Um, if you watch my gardening videos, you know that I have lights on a pathway into my front yard. I purchased them last year on Timu. They spent the entire winter with over a foot of snow and rain, 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 non-stop, uh, and they're still working. Never took them in. All right, let's get started. So I got a lot of stuff, all right? First item is probably something that I'm going to use quite a lot because I need it all the time. No, it's not just gloves. It's an entire set of shears for the garden. And I'll put a screenshot of everything so you can see how much they are on the website. And I already tried this one actually. And let me tell you, this is really good. Uh, it has a stop, most of them do. It's a nice, comfortable handle, but it's not just this one. So it's a traditional shear. And then there's this type that's a little bit serrated. And I don't know if you can see. So this one is good for small branches. The next one is the tiny one. This is great for roses if you want to remove um, little buds and you're deadheading your flowers, for instance. This is really good. And so far, the quality looks like it's there. I'm not going to have an issue with that. 
The next one is a little bit longer, same type, uh, and it has the closure right here at the bottom. It's serrated as well. So this is perfect for pruning roses or pruning um, peonies, for instance, or hydrangea, any kind of um, stem that's a little bit hard and ends up with dead wood. Uh, and then the last one is this one, which is really, really tiny, and you can actually use this uh, for sewing as well. But this is really for the tiny, tiny buds. And it also came with a little pouch if you want to carry them and gloves how about that so let's look at the gloves they fit i need a new gloves so that's item number one i got from timo item number two is very specific to my house and to my needs um some of you probably have seen those before and Others don't, and you're probably wondering, what on earth is this thing? This is a scooper to clean up your gutters. You know, it's the season right now where you got to pick up all of the debris and leaves from fall through winter, and we got a lot of rain right now, and it's very easy to get a clogged um, gutter. So instead of going in there with gloves and pulling all of the dead leaves and branches by hand, if you don't have leaf guards, you get one of those and you just basically go inside your gutter like a trench and you scoop the stuff out. So this is really practical. This one. I'm very excited about this. I actually purchased it for my mom more than anything else. Uh, because I know she's going to come. What is this? Look at this. This is a gardening apron. Let me move the camera so you can see it a little bit better. So this one, you wear it like this, right? And it's got a full pocket here. It goes all the way down. It's got two more pockets here. It's got a pocket right here with a snap, so this is perfect for your phone. My phone constantly falls into the garden. Um, and it has another one here with a little snap and then separate ones right here. And there's nothing else here. Let's look at how those little tools I just showed you would fit in here. Because that would be absolutely perfect, right? Okay, so I could have uh, my gloves right here. I could have this guy probably uh, in here, or I can keep it this way, right? Uh, or I put it like that. And then if I have another one, I can keep that one in here, or back in here as well. All right, I put my phone right here, and I'm ready to go to the garden. I'm never losing these, I constantly do. Um, and then I have room for all the stuff, uh, whatever else I want to put in there. Let's look at it in close-up so you can get an idea. And again, for everything, I'm showing you screenshots so you get to see how much they are. This one only comes in two colors, by the way. I think it's black or gray. All right. And this is... Uh, what it looks like. It's got a little warning label, trust yourself, right? If you're gonna put sharp objects in here and you're going to bend, you don't wanna uh, stab yourself, right? But here's the edge. It's well made. It's canvas fabric, um, snap closure or metal. The strap has stitching on both sides. It's a nice big buckle closure, like this. Oh, it even has this one. I didn't see that, um, the little hook thing. I'm not sure what you do with this. But yeah, what do you think? It's pretty good, right? So moving forward, you're gonna see me wearing an apron. Uh, I've decided I'm gonna keep that one and get another one for mom.
Next item I got from Timu are these. Wondering, uh oh, solar stuff, right? Yes, they are solar spotlight. So, what I'm gonna do is probably tonight is put them on my front porch so that they can catch the sun all day tomorrow. And then, what I'll do is um, on Wednesday night when I come back, I will show you what it looks like at night so basically this is a spotlight that is directional and is entirely solar powered and it's got quite a lot of lights all right i intend to put one of those looking up on one of my columns um where i just put the number for my house so at night the number of the house is going to be illuminated with the flag above it and i'm going to do the same thing on the other column illuminating the other flag these are cool and they came in as a pack of four. So I have four, two for the front and I'm gonna put one on each of my apple trees in the back. So it's gonna give me some light in the backyard. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, next. These, I've been wanting these for a while um, and I'm probably gonna to have to use them this week actually because I'm a little behind on gardening these are growing bags but not any kind of growing bags the potato growing bags so you fill them up with soil they are round i think you can see that right i think the 10 or 15 gallons each and then when it's time to harvest your potatoes there is a velcro door that opens up right here and it allows you to go directly underneath your plant to pick up your potatoes. This is cool. So um, I got, they have handles so you can carry them. And they're basically fabric planters. I got two. So we're gonna plant potatoes this week. All right. Next item, I have an issue with my garden hose. So I have to get replacement garden hose. Uh, and I believe this is a hundred foot. So I got one, look at these. This is high quality brass. And they are compatible with ours. So I got a, a green one and I got uh, a blue one of the hoses and these are going to be split another Timu find with this so one is going to be uh, attached to this and the other one to that so I have a hose going to the backyard and a hose going to the front yard that's the goal. Okay, next. Birds. It's a bird bath. It's plastic. Um, I was hoping it would be glass. It comes in so many different colors. But this is to put in the front. When I sit on my porch, I have a... Um, shepherd's hook uh, and one of them has a feeder and the other one I put a plant last year but this year I'm going to put a bird bath okay so you put that in and then you, you can put food in there you can put seeds I have to put water um, but I want to watch the birds getting baths because I think they're fun uh, so that's another one this guy actually came as a set of two so this is supposed to help you get rid of really invasive um, weeds like dandelion for instance you just go like this and then you pull and what it does is that it grabs a whole bunch of the roots and you end up taking the whole dandelion together and you can also use this to cut 
a, a tap root if you need to and I got two of those this is uh, iron it's all welded and then um, paint coated and it comes as a set of two all right the last item I entirely got for mom and I need to go on the floor to open it and show you what it is because you know um, I'm hoping my mom comes to visit and I'm also hoping that my mom comes and lives with us all the way from France and she's a gardener she's an avid gardener much better than me let me take the other one um, but she's also 87 years old so whatever I can do to accommodate her and make gardening enjoyable and easy for her I will do Out of all the items that I've picked, I think this one was the most expensive. And it's a garden bench that allows you to garden and kneel on. So you open it this way. And then you open it this way, right? Okay. So you can sit on it let me do that as you garden and you don't want to get tired right or you can flip it the other way it helps you get down on your knees and then you put your knees on it so you can go and garden and it has this little pouch here that you put to the side where you can keep your garden tools. This is really cool. It's heavy duty. I can tell you right now, this thing is not flimsy and it's not going anywhere. So my elderly mom, um, I would not put that on because she's gonna have the apron anyway. And it's, you wanna get a good grip, right? So when she's on here, she can actually get up. How cool is this? This is really neat and I will use it too. I'm going to have to get another one. <laughs> uh, so you can sit. And it's fairly large, okay? Um, I can't tell you what size behind <laughs> you can put in there, but it's fairly large. So if I'm in the garden and I'm doing something, right, I can just sit. Instead of bending constantly, this is great. So these are all the items I got on Chimu that are garden specific. Um, you saw the prices, very affordable. I'm showing you what they look like. You can tell that this is not garbage quality. And I'm telling you, here's a little trick. If you don't believe me, check it out. Say you see an item that you really like, right? Take a screenshot of it, a picture, and then go on the other online places where you go to. You know the one that delivers following day? Okay. You can search by pictures, throw in that picture and watch the same item, same pictures is going to show on that web page. It's the same stuff, but you get it at the um, discount price because it's coming straight from the manufacturer. That's the advantage. So you really do, over time, save a ton of money. The only caveat is that you got to wait a little bit. So, um, I'll meet you back in the garden as I'm gardening all week. <laughs> well, all week. Uh, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, for four days, I'm going to garden and use all of these so you can see them in action. Um, and then you make your own judgment as to whether or not Timu is worth it. If you're interested, all the links are down below for the app, which I suggest that you download. Um, your discount, I think you get all the way up to $100 worth of coupon codes. It's not like $100 chunk. It's like a whole bunch of little coupons that you get. So you save 100 bucks over time. And check out the website. I'm telling you, they carry everything. Pets, plants, furniture, cookware. Um, gardening, automotive, um, lamps, gadget, kawaii stuff. If you like Hello Kitty or things like that, they have it. Love Timu.
This thing is awesome because what I'm trying to do is remove the lesser celandine, which is a uh, invasive marsh type uh, weed that does, um, I talked about it last year in my gardening video. It has little bulbs, rhizomes as part of its roots. And if you don't remove everything, it comes back. And I've been battling this thing for years. So I'm trying this this year to see if it's gonna help. And it seems to be pulling them out pretty deep and pretty well. Of course, I'm going to have to refill the holes. So you see, this tool is really cool because I just went in and it took out everything, including the rhizomes. And the last ones are right here, the uh, original ones. So the whole plant is gone. Hopefully, next year, I don't have as many telling you it's invasive and right now they're all over my flower bed my roses so i'm gonna continue to pull them out and they only come in the spring after that they die off and you don't see them again but you gotta remove them there we go the whole plant Okay, last thing, the lights. So, it comes with those spikes, by the way. And what you do is insert it this way, right? And you can tilt it whichever way you want. And then the button is right here. I'll have to come back later on to show you what it looks like at night. But for now, it's gonna go straight onto the pagoda. The other one is facing this pagoda, but they're going to get painted. I mean, this is um, another one of my projects. All right, I put the bench over here. For those of you who want a garden update, um, apple trees are finally in bloom. I got the potato bags over there. The little Timu thing for um, bird bath. I got to fill it up with water. Hydrangea. Uh, what else? This is. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. Lily of the Valley. That's coming back. Here are my roses white, red, yellow. Uh, the aster, I'm probably gonna move because once it's really, really big, it's sticking over these. And then cleaned up all of that. And over here, we'll make this little corner here for sitting area with all manner of mints. And that's it. Let me move the bag. All right, here we go. Little sitting area. Um, this thing here, genius. This is really good. And you see that I haven't planted anything yet in the vegetable garden. It's really late in the season for us. We've finally got sunshine. Yeah, it's, it's basically rained every day, almost every day for the past uh, two months. So it's a soggy mess and that's about it. And here's one. 
And the second one I'm keeping all the way around the house, going towards the back of the house. I need to buy a second hose and it will come all the way up to here to the garden. So that's my hose attachment. So um, that was my Timu review for gardening supply. Hope you enjoyed this and are interested in checking it out. Again, all the links are down below and you can see that the items work. The only one I didn't try is the uh, scooper for the um, gutters. I didn't get a chance <laughs> to do that, but I mean, how long can you go with a scooper? Um, and then here is a picture that I took last night of the spotlight in my backyard looking directly or facing directly my two um, pagodas which I mentioned will get painted eventually so those spotlights are really good there's a button underneath where you can adjust the intensity of the light I have that on maximum so if you want them to be a little bit um, dimmer you can do that and they also come in white bright white color mine is um, warm white i prefer that i don't like that led look too much um so quick recap the apron excellent um uh, the kneeling pad thing excellent the um weed puller excellent the uh shears very good all of them i've had no issues with them they're really really good good handle um you know if you use them for quite some time which I did as I was bagging stuff, um, you know, branches. You don't get um, calluses or whatever or blisters on your hand. Um, the hose thing is working. I still have a little bit of a leak, but I think that's coming from my part, not their part, because it's leaking from above, not from below. So obviously it's on my end. Um, but the hoses are very good and they are flexible. I did order the ones that are 100 feet. They are the longest in the pack. And I'm going to purchase another one um, to go to the back of the garden. And I probably will get one of those hose holder to put on my um, fence as well. And then what else? Uh, the growing bags for the potatoes, I have no idea. I cannot tell you. They look sturdy. Um, the Velcro is very good. It's all around. I don't know if they're going to grow. Um, you have to keep checking. <laughs> Come back and visit my channel to see gardening videos throughout the whole growing season uh, to check on the potatoes. It's going to be interesting to open up that little trap door thing to get the potatoes out. Uh, I see a lot of people doing it. The advantage of it is that it's portable. So let's say that you want to do a container garden um, and you have a patio that only gets sun in one area and not the other, you use those bags, um, those 10 gallon bags with the handles and as the sun moves, you move your containers. So that way you can keep or maintain your minimum of eight hours worth of sunlight on your plants, um, whether you grow vegetables or flowers. Um, I think that's it, right? I reviewed everything. I'm very happy with Timu. Give them a shot. I know a lot of people are like, ooh, I don't like to, you know, to order from Timu. I'm telling you, I've never had any issues with them. Um, these little bags right here that you see in my kitchen, I ordered from them as well. They contain, this ones are for uh, garlic. Um, I order a lot of stuff for things like this. They're perfect. Oh, these earrings. <laughs> these earrings are from Timu. I'm telling you, they're really good. So all the links are down below. Yes, they are affiliate links. Um, you know, thank you for helping me support this channel. I hope you enjoy this. And if you want me to do more Timu reviews, let me know in the comment section. And then out of all the items, which one impressed you? I have to tell you that little bench thing is really awesome. It's really, really good. It's sturdy. I don't see this thing breaking anytime soon. And it was, what, under 35 bucks? So, yeah. And it's very comfortable on your knee. Oh, and those weed pours. Oh, lifesavers. Because that lesser celandine is really invasive. I'm, I'm trying my best to get rid of it every year. But phew, I think I'm going to have to have a guy come in and 
torch the backyard. That's the only way to get rid of it. Just flame floor the whole back to get rid of it. Um, anyway, thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner and check out my channel for more videos, gardening videos, reviews, um, day in the life, DIY project, quilting, cooking. There's a lot on this channel. And then if you're interested in a more intimate look in my personal life, you can choose to support my Patreon channel at patreon.com slash my great challenge. It's a really, really warm and welcoming and supportive and positive environment over on Patreon. So check it out. And then all the other links for my Etsy shops are down below. Facebook, Instagram at My Great Challenge. Thank you, Timu, for this opportunity. I really enjoyed all the products. Um, the bench, the weed puller, the uh, spotlight, the apron. Uh, the shears really are my favorite. I'm going to use those nonstop. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.